uh, could be sold as um, feed for farm animals. Uh, whereas in our case, uh, we are able to turn them into something like this. The idea is to give uh, a fully fledged substitute for uh, plastic disposables or um, even uh, paper ones, um, a, a substitute that would be both bio-based quickly biodegradable and as it's in this case because um, these products they biodegrade in open air conditions like in I don't know forest or any other uh, garden like uh, kind of situation within uh, 30 days and if you compare it to plastics when you have hundreds of years uh, of uh, a long term waste then this is uh, clearly a winner. There's, I guess, enough wheat bran uh, around for everyone to use um, uh, because uh, there, there are actually uh, masses of wheat bran that is not being used because of um, it going bad. What we are doing is we add a bit of water there so it's moist um, and uh, then we are applying high uh, temperature and high pressure to be able to liquidate it, so to say, uh, to have this uh, like gel kind of a form, and then we are able to uh, squeeze uh, a designated form out of it, uh, cool it down and have it in a solidified form like this one, or any other shape. It's not as flexible, uh, so, uh, if you're, I don't know, having a bratwurst <laughs> or any other uh, sausage uh, on a plastic plate, it's quite uh, possible that it will simply fall down because of the flexibility of the, of the dish. This is very sturdy and firm, so you will have, avoid also that problem. And it's uh, quite um, heat resistant, so you won't, uh, I don't know, burn your hands or anything like that. We are making bowls for soup as well, but the thing is that um, they withstand uh, water for about 30 minutes, and then it's uh, they are getting a bit mushy. So the the first like parts of wheat bran uh, can disintegrate and migrate into soup, for example. But uh, once again, we are using um, actually um, high. Uh, quality wheat bran, which can be edible in the form of muesli or cereals, so it's not, not a problem. Uh, but uh, as of now, uh, this is used for either uh, salads or as I said, um, I don't know how to call it, uh, high density food, right? Not, not uh, absolute liquids, uh, but the next step of development of the product, something that we're already working on, is actually coming up with a layer that would be either sprayed on or laminated that would be making this product um, water resistant and then we are looking on broader, broader market of, of for example uh, cups for uh, beverage or um, um, trays for frozen food or for yogurts and uh, yeah hopefully someday we will get there as well.